I hope I don't get bitten here because it's Atletico Madrid at minus 175. You're not getting rich on that. Valencia come to town at plus 550. Valencia has shown green shoots recently of being a little bit better in their energy and their passing, but not really in their finishing, even though they got beat 1-0 against 10-man Barca. They then uh, returned the favour last week and actually won at home 1-0. Uh, Atletico Madrid at minus 1 at plus 105. Is that a free here? Atletico to score twice is minus 120. Pavlos, Paco's not here, right? So let's put the boot into Valencia because Valencia, all of a sudden, they got one of their old players back as manager. Oh, we're all going to be buoyed and obviously they did great against Barca but got beat and then they only win 1-0 at home. Madrid put these to the sword, surely. Uh, it's weird with this Valencia side. Uh, one thing's for certain, they've tightened up a lot. They were, uh, they were already kind of tight, you know, so far in the season uh, in the sense that uh, they're not the team to score three, four goals. Yes, they've done it a couple of times, but it's not in their profile. Uh, they were really tight uh, anyway. So, uh, And they were also tight at the back. Uh, most of their wins came came by one to nil. Most of their losses came by one to nil. Uh, six of the last eight matches were one to nil for either side. So uh, they're trying to, you know, keep a slow pace. Uh, if they take a draw, it would be fine. If they can uh, maybe score a goal and then turn up, uh, again, it's fine. But now... They're at the brink of relegation and they're playing a good side that has been, uh, you know, picking up a lot of steam lately. They're, they've been great in 2023. And uh, this is a dangerous, uh, like a really, really bad um, timing for Valencia to, to face Atletico Madrid. However, if they want to save the season, maybe, you know, getting results in uh, in venues like this, in um, you know, against Atletico Madrid and the big sides is the way to go. However, it, it doesn't look really good for them. And um, Atletico Madrid um, have been really taking things slow as well lately. A lot of 1-0 wins there, 1-1 uh, draws, 2-0 wins. So this looks like a tight match in my eyes. So uh, if I had to play something, I'd bet on the under 2.5 goals here. Yeah, I like the under 2.5, but I also like uh, Valencia not to score at minus 110, Roman. I think I've wrote down here, Atletico win 2-0. If they obviously get... I, I don't care about them being more solid because the personnel are not good enough. Yeah, and also you have Atletico de Madrid that uh, are, are in good momentum at the moment. They're, they're playing uh, good football. Griezmann is looking uh, fantastic there in attack. A great player for them. Memphis got a few goals a couple of match days ago. I mean, they've looked better since uh, Joao Felix uh, abandoned the club, basically. I think that's, that's fair to say. And uh, the truth is also the stats or, or the pr pr previous games played between both sides favor Atletico de Madrid because the last time uh, Valencia beat Madrid was 3-1 in 2014. And since then, they've played 16 times and Valencia have won zero of those 16 games. So Atletico really uh, have uh, this game usually under control. Sometimes we see more goals, sometimes we, we see fewer goals. Um, so, I mean, it would make sense for Atletico to win. It would make sense not to see too many goals, as you guys have been saying. But then again, uh, Valencia are a tricky side, as we as you mentioned before. New manager change. They got two wins in the last three games. Of course, they weren't 100% convincing wins, but they were wins in the end. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if somehow uh, this game ends in a draw mysteriously, you know. So, um, logic says go with Atletico Madrid, but my head says careful, you know, and um, don't don't push it too far. And I'll just want to wait and, and enjoy the game from from, from far. No, no, I, I make you 100% right, Roman. I mean, plus 300 on the draw. Even Valencia, uh, double chance you're going to get maybe like plus 125, plus 150. But I've just, I, the personnel that they have, and then I look at Atletico. And yeah, go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, too much craft, too much creativity, too sharp in, in like tight areas. So for me, I went with, um, I came out at 2 0. So if you want Valencia, Obviously, not to score at minus 110. That brings in your nil-nil. If you want Atletico to score twice, then obviously you'll go with my selection, which is, and I'm the only one that's got an official pick here, by the way, and I thought I'd done well with the uh, with the number. Because the number is Atletico and over one and a half at plus 110. Brings in the 2-1 as well, so that means I just... Uh, I abandoned the minus 110 of Valencia not to score because VAR can be a very, very cruel <laughs> brother sometimes. Uh, let's move on to this next game because we have got an absolute highwayman of a, uh, of a team at home. Next.